All right, so we're going to first start out by opening up that file we made. It was an SVG, and uh, it allows me to open it at any resolution whatsoever. And in the last video, I opened it at a really high resolution. I'd never needed anything that big. So I'm going to choose like 2048 for pixels. I'm going to let the height fall where it is. And for the resolution, I need it like at 72. So I start out some really low resolution number. 72 works really well. Alright, so what I do, first make a layer that's transparent. Put that at the bottom. And uh, one of the things I set up is the Wacon Drawing Tablet to work with the system. Um, that's under the Apple menu up at the top if you're on an Apple computer. For this one, it's under Control Panel. Hardware. And here's Wacon Tablet. For me, on the PC, this isn't loading, but that's okay. Uh, if it loads, what you do is hit the plus box, and you just add it. I would have to restart the system right now, and I don't want to do that. Under the Apple menu, it would be under Preferences, and then you'll find your Wacom Drawing Tablet. All right, when I first start out here, I'll make a layer, just like I did, and I'll go to that layer, and I'll start blocking out color. So here's a great way to do this. If you go to double click on this tool, the fill tool, sample merged. So this will use your outline as the coloring book image itself. and why that is important is if you go over here let's say I chose a starting out point for me a starting out point means a mid color say I chose a mid color for the house this right here is invaluable it's the best tool ever I've come across they have that in Photoshop too but really this dialog box right here uh, Dockable dialogues, and then you go to colors. Then you go to the last one. Hue, saturation, value. Now that means, if you, let's say, chose any color in the world. And I'll go with a brown. With these three, I can choose, you know, how much of the value is a dark color see how that this is traveling across in a straight line that is very nice to have and if I want to hue shift it it's called it'll stay right there and I'm just shifting the actual color so when I'm putting values down every once in a while I can hue shift this into something else without ruining the original color. So I'll show you how this works. I'll choose a value for this brown, something like this, in the mid-tone range, and then that way I can go either black or brighter when I get through with the drawing. Okay, let's go like this. And Go on this layer. Now you see a little bit of a, a actual opacity here, so make sure your opacity is all the way up. There we go. Should be a solid block of color. Also, you're seeing a little bit of white show up on the outside, so you have to adjust this threshold until you get a happy medium there. See, too much. So undo. Much better. See how solid that looks? 
another feature that is in, in some of the programs. Nice. So what I'll do is I'll block out the, all the color in the actual drawing. But how I use that color thing is like this. Let's say I was going to come up with a color for the ease trough. Well, what I could do here is I could choose a lighter color of value. But then I can hue shift it. Let's say, let's say I wanted to go green. Greenish. And I'll look at the colors, see how they match. And then I'll decide if I want to go darker. That's not too bad, but let's see if I can... Just a little bit of blue more, right, right about there. I like that color better. So you see that threshold right there, how it filled in the color, but it's just a little too high. You have to keep adjusting that threshold until you get a happy medium where you're not fighting the system. There we go. That's better. Once you get these settings down, you can just start blocking in color. Now, another thing, let's say I have a color that I want to put back into the brush. Well, there's the eyedropper tool, but the eyedropper tool is on a horrible uh, keyboard shortcut. So let's, let's look at that. Under Tools, here's the color picker. I'm using Control B. Control B is in boy. And the reason for that is the uh, paint bucket tool is Shift B. B is in boy. So I can translate before, between Shift B and Control B. I'll pick that color, Control B, and Shift B. There we go. So I'll keep blocking in this color, and you, so should you. You should choose a drawing, go through all that that I went through, and all the videos of cleaning up the line art. And in here, it should look like this before we can go on. There we go. Now how I did the gradient is I just selected the area, like this for example. Went like that and held shift in these areas. I put it on the color layer, which looks just like this, which is kind of cool looking in itself. But, for example, I'll make a new layer, and I just used the gradient tool, and I had two different colors here. I chose a color that's dark, and a color that's a little bit lighter, and then I scrubbed across. Just like this. And I wanted it down. Yeah, I like that. Alright, get to that stage. Get to the blocked out color stage. Should look something like this. And then go on to the next video.